I first learned about Lucy from a website that works with animals down in Puerto Rico. And I think it was probably her face that caught me first. She's just very cute, big wide eyes. And they had mentioned that she was a disabled dog. She was found hit by a car and had spinal damage. Nina was a stray. She was hit by a car out in the street. Good Samaritan found her. They just saw so much in this little girl that they decided, let's try and save her. Three-legged dog, in most cases, they get along fine on that third leg, but the accident that she was in injured both legs, and the remaining hip is not that good. Several years ago, through HandicapPets.com, I'd been selling wheelchairs from some of the major dog wheelchair manufacturers, and there were problems with them. And I'd hear this from my customers and from this community. I have a message board where people would leave messages about concerns they were having and problems they were having with their wheelchairs. The wheelchair she came with was in very tough shape. It had a lot of duct tape on it. It wasn't necessarily designed for her. It fit her well enough so that she could get around, but it wasn't custom to her, so she would fall out of it. For a custom wheelchair, and all the other wheelchairs are custom, you had to take 13 measurements, and they have to be exact. If you miss a measurement, the wheelchair you get could end up being the wrong size and potentially have to go back to the manufacturer for adjustment. Secondly, after they sent the measurements to the manufacturer, they would have to wait a week, sometimes even more, before they got the cart. And they have a disabled dog. They need this cart immediately. Once they got the wheelchair, it would come fully assembled, and it was big. Larger wheelchairs couldn't even fit into the back seat of a car, so that although the wheelchair was a transportation device, it itself wasn't transportable. I decided that I was going to create the wheelchair that all of my customers wanted. It was going to be easy to order, it was going to be fully adjustable, it was going to be able to fold flat so that it could be transportable, the harnessing system was going to be comfortable and flexible, it was going to be easy to use and easy to get in and out of. I worked with a group of engineers to help design the mechanics of it so that it would be easy to build, easy to manufacture, and then if parts needed to be replaced, easy to repair. So we ended up with a cart that was extremely durable totally flexible, easy to adjust. This cart adjusts anywhere from 20 to 200 pounds simply by snapping in a new set of wheels and adjusting the length and width. Getting Lucy in and out of the wheelchair, it's very quick, it's very easy, and she is so happy to go for the walks. When she sees the wheelchair, she gets so excited. Lucy has no idea she's a handicapped pet. She will play with the best of them, she will bark, she is giddy all the time. So one of my most memorable moments was when a golden retriever named Denali came to the office. Denali had had degenerative myelopathy and her back end didn't work and she hadn't walked in about two months. Her owners carried her in, uh, we put a wheelchair on her, and within minutes she was off and running. A few months later, she was running in the woods. Uh, we have a movie on the website of Denali running into the water with the wheelchair. It's just wonderful, and it's wonderful to know that families are being kept together and able to play, and, and dogs can live long, happy, healthy lives. The wheelchair help in Nina is uh, extremely important. When we go out for long walks, we put her in the wheelchair because that is helping her get along a lot better. And as soon as Lucy arrived, everyone just fell in love with her. She's just so full of life so full of hope. Traditionally, when a dog can't walk, it was put to sleep. And this would happen whether the dog had an injury as a puppy, or was old and had arthritis or DM. And with a wheelchair, you don't have to put a dog to sleep. You know, to think that she could have been put down at five months and not lived these past years is, is very sad because she's a very happy dog. The fact that she's handicapped has really allowed me to get the word out there that a disabled animal has a lot of life to live. I hope that Lucy and I have become advocates for handicapped pets. People are amazed at how well she moves, allowing them to see what a good life she has, that we're advocating for all the disabled animals out there.